are you suddenly not able to fly further than 50 meters or 30 meters in altitude? Did this happen after a recent DJI Fly update or firmware update? If that is the case, then this is for you. Welcome to Infinity Drones. As you can see, there are tons of people that have issues with the DJI Fly app and they are not able to travel further than 30 meters in altitude and 50 meters in distance. And this mainly affects iOS users because there is an issue between DJI and the American government and it seems that that is spilled over into the Apple application. To resolve this, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the DJI Fly app and we're going to make sure that all of our settings are correct. Now, typically after a firmware update, some settings might have changed. So it's always a good idea to just open your app, log into the uh, app while the drone is connected, and then just check your settings. In my case, I can already see that my max altitude and my auto return to home altitude is different. So I've changed that. And as I scroll down, you will find a couple of other settings maybe. If you're flying a Mavic Mini, there might be payload mode enabled. Make sure that is disabled because if that is enabled, you will most likely get the error that you cannot fly higher than 30 meters or 50 meters in distance. Now, if I go through my control settings, there's no real settings that I likely need to change over here. So this was good for me. But if you are going to go to the advanced section in the control section, please make sure that you always have when signal loss is happening, that it will return to home. In my camera settings, funny enough, there were quite a few settings that have changed and I needed to update my app to fix or get the settings back that I prefer. In my transmission system, for some reason, it also switched back to HD. HD is going to give you better video quality on your device, but less range. So I prefer to have smooth because I would rather fly further. Now, if you go to the about page, you will check your firmware and make sure everything has been updated correctly and make sure that you are on the correct one. Also, make sure that your name of the aircraft is populated. For some cases, or some re reason, sometimes that is left blank. And if that is blank, then you're going to get the error that your device name does not exist and you need to recreate it and you need to log into your DJI account. Now, that is the main reasons you most likely would have this error. As you can see, I've got a firmware, a firmware update on that. But since I'm running the drone hacks mod, I am not going to update my firmware. Now, the other option you can go to is just go to profile and then click on settings. And on the left side, you're going to scroll down to logging out or to log out. Once you've logged out of your application, then you can just re-log into the application. It just could be that the communication between the app and the DJI servers aren't working properly. And if you log out and log back in again, it could potentially resolve the issue there for you. Once again, if you're an iOS user, uh, I re really do recommend logging out and then logging back in again. Um, you also have the option to select local data mode. As you can see on the screen, there are the options that essentially prevents the app from sending information out. This is great if you don't want you to be tracked by DJI for some reason. Just note that your map inside the app is then not going to work anymore. Now, as you can see, I've now gone to the go fly option. I've enabled everything and now I'm going to see if I can fly further than the 30 meter altitude limit or the 50 meter distance limit. Now, if you've got any problems from this, I do recommend on an iPhone that you disable um, the Wi-Fi, actually just enable airplane mode, restart your device, and then reconnect to the controller and then to the drone. That is the easiest way to resolve the issue. Another one would be just to kill the app and then open it again. But if you are gonna restart the device in airplane mode, then you know for a fact that you are able to run the drone and fly properly. I've seen this many times, especially on iOS devices. Please make sure that you are in airplane mode. You've closed the app and if need be, you can log out and log back in again um, to, before you turn on airplane mode, just to make sure that you are actually logged into the application. Once you are logged in, enable airplane mode and then you should be able to fly properly. I hope this helps you guys. If you like this video or you find it useful, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.